Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about K9 on IXL. Uh, if you need help, make sure uh, you just check these questions out. The lesson to me is pretty simple, but that's usually the case. It is simple for a teacher, but not for students, not as much. So what is the value of S? Uh, we are going to have either isosceles triangles or equilateral triangles. And some sides are going to be congruent to each other or some angles in this case. Okay, uh, I have an isosceles triangle. I know this because two angles are equal and the sides across from these two angles must be equal as well. Such as 49 right across from this angle must be equal to this side across from U. So S would be 29. They're basically equal to each other. So I will skip one level, so I will pause the video and then we will talk about the next question. Okay, here is another simple question. It is about the value of u. We have an equilateral triangle because 1, 2, and 3 angles are equal. Equiangular triangle, by the way. Uh, which means all of the angles are the same. If all of the angles are the same, all of the sides are the same. Which leads us to u being equal to 17. Which is that side and also this side xw would be 17 as well so let me pause the video i will then move on to the next level and see what kind of question that one is okay here it is many of you may not need the help for this one because you get these sort of questions once you hit 70 bar and i know for many of you this is all about getting that 70 so if that's the case you don't need to watch the rest of the video if not let's get to this question uh, first, we have an isosceles triangle because two sides, only two sides are given equal. We may end up with a congruent third side, but it's not given at the moment. So since these two sides are equal, the angles across from these two tick marks should be the same, such as angle 73 degrees must be equal to right across from this side, we have angle Z. So Z is 73. If I put that 73 up here, I have one angle given in the triangle. That's the second angle. They are both 73, which add up to 146. And I know if I add this third angle to that 146, that would give me 180 degrees, which means just subtracted from 180, my bad, that would be 34. So the angle Y would be 34 degrees. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, this one was fairly easy, simpler than the other, the first video that I shared. So I will see you in another video. Just make sure you comment below if you have any questions.